you can never do it like I When you see man pull up and slide Man step to the room with legends, Rio and Steve, you know it's a vibe Check the podcast, what you wanna know? Don't ask me, go and ask Joe If you're talking Premier League, he's on the front line and I gotta go Oh it's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. Vibe, vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know what it is. It's a vibe with five, vibe with five, and you already know this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this week's episode of Vibe with Five. <laughs> That's right. Myself, Joe Bayer, expecting four or five goals tonight. Easy, minimum four. Stephen Housen. Rio Ferdinand, the viral Rio Ferdinand, should I say. Everything you're saying is being taken out of context, well, left, right, and centre. I might what? get a t-shirt done out of context. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know I, mean? I might get one done. You know, I mean? I said, you know what I said the other day about, uh, about Arteta? I said, in a wild dream. A wild dream. That bit was totally deleted, yeah. And I see him getting asked in a, in a press conference about it. The other day I'm thinking, how have we got here? Didn't we get there because he was... Did, wasn't it just us going... In reply to him when he said, United have got no pull. Yeah. It, it? Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was just a wild dream, like just a, a rebuttal to what you were saying. That's it, all it was. Even I have to admit, I was just like, you what the heck is I going on? Walk here. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys are silly, man. But uh, I just want to let you guys know you can listen to the full audio yeah. of this video on ACAST. In all, context. All audio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get the full context. Not edited like on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Rio, how does it feel like every time you say something, like every single fan channel has been reacting to? To some mm. of your comments. Some mm. people are taking things to heart. Some people, I mean, people like, text me. What, what are you saying that for? And I'm like, because yeah. I believe it. Like, it's, it's, it's good in one way that, that, that yeah. we're being heard and the channel's being seen and heard mm-hmm. from far and wide. That's fine. But mm. it's just context doesn't come into it. And like, even like the, the world class thing, right? Mm. I actually think as well, like, <laughs> some people are taking it so personal. I'm thinking, bro, to be talked about in the world class conversation, you're doing things well. You're doing mm. the right things. It's almost like you should be going, you know what? Just to be spoken about it, and that's cool. Do you know what I mean? But I'm seeing some people go, oh, why has Rio said that? Well, bro, I'm a, I'm a pundit. What do you, we're here to debate stuff. We're here to talk yeah. about current issues that are going on in the game. Is he or he better? Is he or he or her, her, her um, world class or not? These are normal conversations that we have. This podcast uh, is like sitting in someone's front room or in a barber shop or in a pub. It's true. This is what we're doing. This is what happens day to day. Mm. Just that we're, we're, we're going out there. And it, if comments that are said on our podcast are going to affect a player or someone in that player's team or other people in the media and say they shouldn't be said... Uh, like, like there's more things going on in that player's and, life. And, 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 and the funny thing is, pressure. and the funny thing is, yeah, you would think like it, there's been personal attacks or Mate, it's been like. Uh, I'm saying uh, that you're just you're, you're these players are just in the conversation or uh, in the, it's, just it's below mad. being world class. It's 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 that's personal, a compliment. But, but these personal attacks, we need to look into what Ash has been saying about Mopai because there's, <laughs> yeah. some, there's something gone on there. What, on the yeah. flagship show, yeah? Yeah, 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 on the flagship show. On the yeah. flagship show, he is. Can't wait to bring him up. Heads gone. You guys should be watching heads gone as well. Look like a little thing, but it's. Like he's, oh he's man! A player, if a player was doing that, you, you'd have to unload him. Rio, uh, there must be players in the league that are saying, seeing what more players doing and going. I can't wait to get him in the tunnel or play against him. But mm. do you know if he's on your team, you love it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm behind him, backing him. Merchant. And you know what? We we see him outside the stadium. Good guy. And he was well, calm, man. Yeah, good guy. That's like he gets on the pitch, turns into a lunatic, which well, is, is fine. He calm doing it though. I think he is. Yeah, I think he don't I, I give think a he toss. Knows. I think nah. he's, it, the is fact like... he does press over it around it, he don't give yeah. a <laughs> toss. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Before, before we move on, how many times has something we've said on here ended up in a manager getting asked about it? I remember like you ended up having to apologise for something I said about Phil. Jones because oh, yeah. Ollie oh, yeah. was asked about it yeah yeah that was mad, I, that was mad. <laughs> there's a 50-50 debate on the Qatar stuff as well remember you did you did say that there was a takeover oh, God, going on yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 but yeah. the next time I must have said six o'clock there's a big announcement and it hit the papers yeah, yeah, and nice. they said Rio said six o'clock yeah, like, it's just, yeah. It but listen it is what it is we're in a new age now this is how it works you know what I mean but I mean, I mean if I, I don't know if I was playing would I be taking much notice of what People are saying on podcasts, I don't know. Well, podcasts existed while you were still playing. Yeah. Did you not watch? No. Didn't watch it's you. a different time then, though, man. But I'll tell you what else is a different time. City dominating United for the last 10 plus years or so. Wow. I know they're going to say, what, 10 plus years? No, it's been a long time, at least since Sir Alex went. Um, yeah, getting was. spanked. Mm, probably I, don't think we were, I don't think we were spanked. 115 reasons for that. I don't, I don't think we were spanked. We, we got beaten. We got, we got beaten. 
No, we got beaten on a day. Tap. We got beaten on a day. A hey, listen, I've seen worse. I've seen Man United play worse. Yeah. And get hurt with more goals. I agree with that. Open we've been this season. I, I was actually quite impressed up till half time. Yeah. That we were we were riding our luck, but you know. Do you think it's right that after two years of being at a club, even with the injuries, that you go to City and don't even get like twenty percent possession? Yeah. Or no. Would you expect more than that? It was crazy before. Answer like the there were times. Directly answer the question. Go on. I, Is that I don't know if I want for to. For a manager mm -hmm. to to have two years at his club mm -hmm. and get turned over like that without even having twenty percent possession? I don't think it's acceptable. No. no right. Okay. No. So I'll tell you. His second so, season went to yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> Lost five nil. Hey. Had twenty percent possession. Did he? And hey. one shot on goal. Wow. Listen, so you that's can, not you acceptable. Can, you can only look at the train. He yeah. had that on the train. He yeah. had that on the train down here. Well done. That was a good one. Well done. Well done. Yeah, 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 well yeah. done. Tim, let's have it right. In his second season, when you were saying get rid of him, Arteta went to the Etihad, lost 5 0, had 20 percent possession, had a single shot on target. Yeah. Manchester United, with like, you know, a battle of the Somme level amount of injuries, have gone there. We had Willie Cambala playing at the end. We had Forson. We had Anthony, which is like playing with 10 men anyway. We've had Johnny Evans, who didn't even have a club at the start of the season. We was actually holding on until he went off. Mm. He was doing well. Marcus had to go off with an injury. And you think, we've gone there. Yes, we played off the back foot. We didn't really have a, any sort of shots, I don't think, at all in the second half. But first half, we was rocking them. What do you, yes. what do you think? How do you think the Ineos will be feeling about that game yesterday? I saw I had a chat with Joe yesterday in, in a review after the game. And I was like, they supposedly had a four or five hour conversation with Eric Ten Hag. Surely at some point in that conversation, they gave him the criteria to keep his job. They must have addressed the massive elephant in the room that that would have been. And from listening to, to Jim Radcliffe, where he said he was asked about the future of, of Ten Hag and he didn't answer it directly. He said, the structure has not been right. You know, look at the managers we've had here, some really good managers, obviously like Louis and Jose Mourinho, like Champions League winning managers, they couldn't succeed here. So I think he was kind of letting the cat out of the bag a little bit by trying to play it close to his chest, by saying the structure's not been right. Now, my take on that would be, if you were to do like a blind test of what you would want as a United manager, like you're a little box ticking thing. So someone who we know wants to play high press football, wants to play out from the back, wants to build up in like a free one or something like that, wants to uh, play youth, wants to play attacking football, has had some pedigree in Europe, maybe at a couple of clubs, like, I don't know, Ajax and Bayern Munich, uh, and maybe won something where he's been. Eric Ten Hag actually ticks a lot of those boxes. And his play <clears throat> is what would probably be considered by most directors of football, I think, to be the sort of style of play where you would have massive overlap between what I imagine, because obviously we don't know, but what I imagine the likes of Ashworth and Brailsford and, and Wilcox are going to paint as this is what we think the club's ID is going to be. And this is the sort of philosophy we want to play with. Ten Hag lines up with that. So the fact that he lines up with that and the fact that moving a manager on now without having seen what Ten Hag could work like under that system feels like unnecessary upheaval. I wouldn't be surprised if they've sat down with him and said, this shit show's not on you, but it is your responsibility to help fix it. So you've got another 12 month from summer. Let's see how you go. That's your audition to keep this job. And if do, it goes well with mm, your couple of key signings, we'll you. yeah, we go with do, you. Do, you. do you think, this, like the style of football is something that's been called, talked about a lot. I, I watch them and I don't know what style we play. This weekend we played off, off the back foot, a bit of a mid to low block on the counter-attack, which is understandable uh, against Man City. Mm. But in the main, when you watch them, it's just like, we attack, you attack. Like, what, what, is that us? Is that Eric Ten Hag's style, do you think? Or is it, because I don't see any control in the way we play. It was last season though, wasn't it? So like, I think that's the conversation they've got to be having with him. When did everyone's more, fit, is it, is it? Did we have more control? Because it, last year it was majorly built around Casemiro and Ericsson. Mm. You know, you've got the, the footballing brain of Ericsson and, and the pedigree that you had majorly last season uh, of Casemiro. Is he saying like, well, if I had that again? You know, and we also had Martinez and Varane fit. That's a, a brilliant square to Yeah, I think Martinez and Shaw being fit mm. gives us a chance to pass the ball out the back. And then we don't do that when they're not fit them too. But it's not just that as well. It's, it's you look at... When I look at players like Bruno Fernandes, like we've said many times that for, he's probably one of the only players that you could you could get a value for if you sell. 
I'm starting to like not think so anymore because even with him, I'm looking thinking, yeah, you know, a player, great ability, we all know, but sometimes I just don't see him holding that ball, man. I see him, he gets the ball, either releases too early, wrong time. Like it, For me, it's up to a player like that to be able to help control the game, especially when you've got the younger player like Mainu behind. Mainu looks like he controls the game better than him at the moment. Do you know what I, I mean? Like, I, so I just think it's difficult in the, in the way that, that the game is now. I don't think we... I posted something the other day on Twitter about, or X, about Raquel Me. Mm. Like, are we going to see players like this? I'm not saying Bruno's anything like a Raquel Me, but mm. that, that, those players that... the there's Veron when he was at Lazio and, and Parma. He dictated the pace of the whole game. Mm. One man. That's because went, everything went through that person. Roy Keane done it at Man United for years. Even where they, one yeah. person dictates the. It don't happen nowadays. The, the the rhythm. City maybe with Rodri. Pablo Aymar. But, but, all these guys. But it's more like the structure and the system of the team dictates what goes on in a game. And I think the way that Manchester United play now is, is quick release football get the ball, play forward, run forward quickly and then try and get a chance. And that's where Bruno comes alive. That's his best That's his best uh, trait is creating chances for people. Yeah, he's going to give it away a lot but because <sighs> he takes so much risks. It's that's a, his game. That's why I was calling him Bruno Volume Fernandez before and you guys didn't believe me. But I, at some point, you've got to know when to keep the ball over here. You can't just, oh yeah, yeah it's who he is. He's yeah, gonna, but you like, say that, but look at yesterday's game. Look at De Bruyne. He tried a few passes yesterday, didn't come off. But because they're winning, we don't speak about it. And because he sets up a lot of chances and goals, we don't talk about it. But he takes risks with the ball. He gives away a lot of balls sometimes. Yeah. But, but, that, more than but, that's, that, but that is the style of footballer he is. That's the style of footballer that Bruno is. Why are we looking at Bruno and saying, oh, this is what, you, you can't do this, you can't do that. Sometimes it's like, but he's great at doing this. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of players that haven't got a great element to their game. He's actually great at creating chances, but he's in a team that isn't winning. It's not fluid. So we're picking him apart for that. I think that's what we've become too much like that in, in, in the way that we see players, I think, now. I think that you've got to, sometimes you look at, uh, no one talks about Raquel Me, he couldn't defend. No one says, well, that Veron one, that couldn't one defend. Is, and that one's job though. No, no, but, yeah. it's, it's, but Bruno's job's not Bruno's to, job's to create home. chances. It is, but at the same time, you, I just think again, if you look at, you can't say, oh yeah, he's just going to have loads of like volume, volume control, control. At some point, you've got to know when to calm it down and play with the team, bro. When I look at him, when I look at him, Rio, it's he's releasing the ball at the wrong time. He's wasting shots. It's just like sometimes we set up got, no. goal yesterday. Well, yeah, another uh, assist. I'm talking about overall. Like overall, at one point, he's got more goals and assists than De Bruyne. In a way worse team. If you look at if you look at all the creative players in the league, his stats are up. His stats his stats stand against anybody in the time he's been at Man United. John they Conley do, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. They do. You see, when he first Conley came to United, especially, no, no, his stats since he was at Man, time for Man United mm. till today stand up with any creative player in his position. Joe, a couple of years ago, the the two players that lost the ball the most in world football was Messi and De Bruyne. They were the most dispossessed players in football because they take the most risks. Dispossessed. Most they take the most chances. It'll be the same yeah, all the way down the years. The oh, okay, cool. I just, I just think that we're, we're in, the, in years gone by, when we're looking at the fairy tale, when it's all nostalgic, and we talk about like I don't know, like I say, Raquel me because I use him. I spoke about him the other day, but a Seba Veron. Um, there's loads of players I can't think of any, but we think about these players, and we don't think about what they weren't good at. But today we overanalyze, and we're always looking for what they're not good at. And it, it kind of goes against the players today a lot of the time, I think, when the other players in the past don't get hit with that same same level of criticism. It's like they, the dribble pass they, they, they were Because they were good. Centre-halves. Like, oh, Van Dijk's got a dribble pass once in, in whatever. People don't run at centre-halves. Yeah, but that's because there's more there's more data available and, you know, it's not just that people are looking for what's not good. It's just we're exposed to more. But the game's changed more. as well. But I'm talking about even if you use the eye test, just the eye test alone, you can see that there's times in a game where he should be able to keep the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. But Man United don't play like that. Man United do not play keep ball. They don't play football where there's ball retention. They don't. That's ridiculous. They do not play That's ball ridiculous. retention. They play really. up and there's, back. There's more than one way to win games. There is, but you can't Champions be doing... League winning games. Yeah, but they're not, not Real the Madrid, ball. Champions League. This is where you are right about now. This is why teams like Fulham are coming home and you're all of a sudden you're playing counter with Fulham. Yeah, right. It's not because of Bruno. They've been doing... They've been, in Fulham, general. 
Palace, all the, you, for the last seven or eight years, they've been coming to Old Trafford thinking they're going to win games. It ain't just because of Bruno. The number 10 um, isn't the reason why there's no one in the number six position. Bro, you can't you can't put it down. Like, I'm not saying it's just Bruno. Mm. I'm saying when you look at him, he's the creative. He's supposed to be the dictator of the game. He's not. His game is he's not a dictator. He's the, the risk taker that gets chances. He's the one who creates chances. He's not. A, he's not a, 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 someone who's going to come in and go. Like, the tempo of the game goes through me. One, he plays too high to do that. Mm. He's the person that is going to be on the, 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 the ball before the shot. Casemiro or Mano, you want doing that? Mano in a Manu. few years might be really, really good. Yeah. At I was going to say Mano at, at the moment. Obviously, it was difficult for him this weekend, but he's definitely someone that I can see. He brings a calmness. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I mean? Like he's yeah, they've got well, a room to be that guy who controls the tempo. But to be yesterday, I think it was more about Man City. That they, they'd done yesterday what they do to everyone: get you back in your own box, on your own box, and say, right, defend. And lactic acid will build up. What Concentration did change at time because in the first half United seems to be getting chances, and in the second half they just shut it down. I just don't. I, I, I don't. We didn't play the ball directly forward. Like the chances that we had, or semi chances that we had, the one where uh, Rashford was through. If he, he headed it right, he would have gone through. Could have got a hat trick right, first half. Yeah, but it's just a it's small margin, off. small it's de details. Right, he's still got a long way to go. But I'm saying the only reason he gets those chances is because the ball goes forward quick. Whenever I've seen City struggle at home, especially. I watched them against Wolves last season, and I've seen them against Sheffield, uh, uh, Brentford this season. I think it was. They create chances because they play the ball forward and they've got players who are willing to run in behind who are quick and aggressive mm. and who are, can hold the ball as well. And Man United had that yesterday with a Rashford. If you put him, you put the ball forward, he's quick enough to get away. Listen, Carl Walker dealt with him as well occasionally, but the second half, I don't think they've done that as much. They didn't get the ball and play and just get it out of your feet and play into areas because Man United aren't in a position to go toe-to-toe -to -toe City. But they done to us what they do to everyone. They create chance after chance after chance. Harlem misses a sitter, still creating, not getting bored, still probing, penetrating. Anana, I thought, done well, um, yeah, even though really he's conceded three goals, but he, he was, I, I thought, thought he was raving really what he'd done. But Foden was a locksmith. Foden was the man who they looked to. You got Harland, you got Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo De Silva on the pitch. Foden was the guy they went to and he was the guy that managed to unlock this game. And he was the match winner in the end with two goals. Mad. At the moment, Keep I going. think you lot actually look better than City. Say I think again. you're... No, say it down that I camera. think the defence is better. Down that camera. And I, I still think you don't play with a striker. I think you, you play with a, like a forward six that's fluid. I think you mo look more dangerous than them, even though City obviously are very dangerous. I think you look more dangerous than them. But it's the defence that Arsenal have got. You are just not... Just like, you're not allowed to shoot today. That, that's like a condition game. You ain't, mm. you, you're not allowed to shoot. And we got to give and we got to give a massive shout out to Gabriel and Saliba with yeah. that because I, I I was not 100% sure about It's a team Gabriel. game. It's, it's, not about, team. it's not about that. It's, it's no, not even getting you, to them to deal say, with yeah, it. Yeah, but you say that. Of course, then you can big up Declan Rice and everyone else around it. But I have to say the partnership... It's, it's from the front, mate. It, it it's is from, from the, front, the front, but the partnership, bro, that's where I think we're the best. Full stop. Yeah, I, I think, when you look I at think, other positions, at, uh, other I mean, positions, it's not Johnny I Evans and Varane, right? I look when you look around mm. the t other teams and you look at different positions. I think you could argue that other teams are better in other areas, mm. but the two centre backs, I think, have been outstanding. And Best. to be fair, I called out Gabriel last season in the back end and the running because mm. I thought he made a few rash decisions, mm. penalties, etc. Mm. That I, thought, I said at the time. Um, if he doesn't clear that up in his game, mm. that's going to be something to be looked at. Mm. And he has, he has. I think he's looked at that. He actually DM me actually after that, saying like, "Why are you talking about me?" No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He weren't happy. So I, I ain't actually been able to to see him personally and address it with him. But he's obviously thought no. And you're gonna go worked. viral. You're gonna go it's viral worked. with that, by the way. Now well, no, that, that's the next. No, topic no. But I think, yeah, but I don't mind that. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's got. He, he's shown some bollocks and gone. Listen, mm. to me. I, I, I looked up to you as a player. Why? Why are you talking like that? You have you not made? But mistakes? did you say anything bad, or was it? How no, did no, it? I said we should show the clip. I just said um, that. You can't make rash decisions like that at the top level in these high pressure games. You got like he's given away a penalty, and I think he done another couple of things that maybe lead, led me to that. And like, listen, the manager will maybe look at this if it continues. He needs to get these errors out of his game. I think it's fair comment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fine. He's not being happy with that, but I like it that he came to me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean I respect mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you but, can't argue with that, can yeah, you? Yeah, but but this season. I'm giving him his props. He deserves it. I've said mm -hmm. since, since they played Brentford away, mm -hmm. these two look like they're the real deal together. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said. If you're going to win anything, 
It's a partnership that will get you that. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to be, oh, it's just, just going to be on his own. Anyway, the point I was making is- Which is fair. It takes time to build yeah, it takes to time. a team that can- And they've, they, can they've, they've taken time to get to where they are now. They look like a formidable force. They don't mind going one-to-one -one on a halfway line, man-to-man, -man, me and you. And I have a physical battle with you. I'll take it off you. Saliba's got the more skill, man. He'll, he'll be more calm and he'll play balls, etc. But I just feel there's a, a, a confidence, which is the important thing, a confidence and a consistency with these two that- I don't think it's being matched elsewhere at the moment at the level that they're playing. Do you know how good we are? We we haven't even played this weekend and you've got Stephen Houston giving props and Rio Ferdinand giving mm. props on our you Monday. I bet that might not make a headline, Monday. would it? Yeah, that, uh, that won't right. make a headline, but that, that won't go viral. Yeah. Would it? I mean, when you, you say good what? things about people, don't go viral. If you had not dicked about with a goalkeeper, you might have been away with the league already. Mm, oh, no, I don't know about that, man. I think, I think there was a stage where- Are you still happy where, with Raya? Yeah, I am. I think there was a statement that came out the other day. I, I don't want to- I don't know how official it is. I don't want to go viral like Rio, but uh, it looks like Ramsdale could be you won't. could be leaving at the end of the season. <laughs> is it? Um, yeah, there'll be a lot of takers like, for Ramsdale. Yeah. I mean, the, and then the writing's which, on the yeah. wall isn't it? when you get another keeper in on loan. Where's but, Ramsdale go? What about to me? I, I would have said Chelsea at one point. That's a, but they got Petrovic now, who I think has been <laughs> Chelsea brilliant. are tapping for anyone. Um, yeah. I would have said Chelsea. I would have said I think Newcastle's an option. Mm, um, Pope's fit though. Yeah, but you, you got you, you got to look at and it's the age thing as well, isn't it? Really, um, yeah. So for me, those were the two clubs. Mm. Um, you go abroad. There's a lot of English I players that are doubling going abroad now, and it's working quite well for them. Yeah, I think mm. today that's that you can't rule that out either. Uh, but yeah, you look at that and you go, "Wow, we're playing Sheffield United. I'm expecting for nothing less." Johnny Evans, did you think he was going to be able to succeed after your time at United? No, I've said this many times. I think mm -hmm. they, he, uh, it was a travesty that they sold him. Should never have been allowed to leave. He was the best defender, best centre-back, mm -hmm. I think, when I left. Mm -hmm. When me and Vidic walked out the door, the experience, the old old timers, we were gone. He's the best defender there that you got. And then I just couldn't believe that he was the one allowed to leave. Him and Chris Smalling, to be fair. Mm -hmm. like I don't believe they should have been allowed to leave. I thought they knew the fabric of the club. Massive Man United supporter, Johnny Evans. You need those types. Great kid, never any trouble. Mm -hmm. Great trainer, great professional. He's just joined the WhatsApp group. So shout out Johnny Evans. And um, I, I, I didn't expect him to come in and play as many games. And I didn't expect him to come in and do as well as he's done. Clean sheet, Anfield. That doesn't put, a, ain't put really a foot wrong. Think about like, that. It's crazy. And, he, and he's so, so he's good with the ball. I think he'll be good for the younger players. I thought you probably going to coaching after. Mm. But he's, um, he wouldn't have expected to play so many games. And listen, the way he's playing at the minute, he probably could get a new contract the way it's at Man United. If not there, definitely somewhere else. Yeah. But, we spoke to him when we saw him on tour. We were like, what are you doing? Mm. And he's like, I'm just going to play these games and see what happens. No, yeah, it's mad. <laughs> he never, he never, no way expected to get a deal at Man United. No chance. He thought that ship had sailed 100%. But, it literally only came on tour because Reese Bennett was injured. But it does show you, as well as he's done, and as, as much as I admire him as a professional, really he shouldn't be at Man United. Do you know what I mean? It just shows you where Man United are. He shouldn't be being asked to come in and play and chase Haaland around at his age. Man United, that's not that, that's not my, what the top clubs are doing, buying centre-halves that are past their best at this stage to come and play a lot of games in their team. But Man United got a lot of injuries and he's, they are where they are. But it does show you where we are. But I think you've got to give this segment, you've got to give Man City and Foden yeah, their, their no, props. They deserve, they the props. deserve it. I mean, um, quickly, did you see the Rashford foul first half when he when he just dropped on the ground? I, I just wanted to see another replay because the commentary talked about the hand. The hand wasn't a foul. That that you wasn't. You said it a was foul. the leg, isn't it? The leg. I I I saw it, but I only saw the replay the once. I wanted to see it again because I thought he was tripped. I could be wrong. I've only seen it the once. I just wanted to see it again on the legs because I thought that was what needed looking at, not the hands. The hands, no. That's if he's gone down off the hand, then yeah, get up, play on. I just, I just think it was one of those where he lost balance. Carl Walker's running at pace behind you, brother. You can hear him breathing. <laughs> and the next thing you know, he lost balance. Anyway I, I think Rafford's got to be cuter there. Got to, you got, I got, you got to get your body in front. Yeah, of, go across. Get him your body and, across and him. Make you know him I mean, make him foul you. Mm -hmm. Like get you, the bit of cuteness there that comes into it. That being that bit of a wily striker who who knows the game. Like play the game, man. Get in front of him. Make him foul you because you know Carl's coming quick, but it's that's what yellow or red that's what I love about Carl Walker as well. He backs himself in all those situations. Do you know what I mean, he's so, he's, like, he's so quick and aggressive. I said this before. This is why I think he's the best right back in Premier League scene because in those situations, he says, "Me against you. Come on, 
I'll Man. take the and fastest quick, man. By the way. Yeah, it's like mm. in basketball where the best player says, I'll take their best yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. And he said, he says, I'm the quickest defender. Mm. I'll take their quickest one. Yeah. And I'm going to f- own this whole situation. Yeah. And he, he, he does it constantly. He was two, three yards up, bro. Mate. And that's why I said he should maybe Recovery. try to get him, get himself across him, get yourself uh, across him, make him foul you. Even like, I don't know. It's, 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 I don't think it's a foul. I've got to be honest. I think it was, mm. it was, it was, it was a light touch. I don't think it was anything to make you go over. There's no taking away what Man City did. Demolish you guys, battered you guys. Whether the comments like it or not, it's the truth. Don't care how you Rush feel. Rush was gold, though, bloody hell. Yeah, great I ain't, I ain't, I ain't been off the seat that much. I almost got my Achilles getting off, off the great sofa. Goal. It was a joke. Great goal. Like, I think he's got it in him you know? and, and we're going to be talking about you know the interview he did as well um, mm. good timing not really no you got to, when you're not in form and you, you're searching for form talk's kind of cheap isn't it it's mm. also a bit of added pressure isn't it it brings more pressure and I thought wow you know what he's done he's done the interview timing was unreal mm. but you got to you put pressure on himself, I think. You've got Flip to... it though, if we win it on the back of that goal, yeah. following that interview, it looks like an absolute yeah, 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 4D yeah. chess genius. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But I just think there's no point of putting yourself in that situation. Yeah, I think he's brave to do that. Yeah, I yeah. think he does bring more pressure. I think he must know going into that it's going to be more pressure. Of but he's, um, I think, listen, I think he's got the ump with certain people questioning his desire and his application and his. Uh, he also mentioned podcasts as well. Yeah, yeah. He won't ask because we've been positive about him constantly. Uh. Um, and that couldn't be us. Um, I wish he had named it, named the podcast. I've got a good idea who it probably is. But um, yeah, he's, he, he's not, he wasn't happy with a lot of stuff being said in the media and stuff. And he wanted to, uh, no one to question his, his, his love for the club and what the club means for him, etc. But it's only performance is going to sway people. Performance people forgive the, a lot if you're playing well yeah, and scoring. But performance is the only thing. I knew that when I played that. Like, I ain't chatting. Listen, everyone's different and, and Marcus can do what he wants to do, but mm. I ain't chatting to no one yet if I ain't in form. Mm. The moment I lick a bit of form, boy, I'm mm. chatting to everyone. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm there. <laughs> you want to do an yeah, 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 I'm there. I'm, there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to do interviews, but I need to be in form. Mm. And I don't know what's right and wrong with that. What's right and wrong? I'm, I'm saying that and I think probably the way I've done it was right, but it's brave to do what he's done and speak when you're not in form. He knows he's not in form. He's not silly. Like anyone can rock up, can't they, when they're you know being told they're amazing. They're brilliant, this yeah. and it's harder to do. Like you know, a folder at the moment. Yeah. No one's gonna say anything to him mm. to give an interview is how you wouldn't have thought. I, I just think and I have to say it, not to be negative, but I think we have to we have to be real here. Is this the camera? I think you're speaking to the common folk and people who are ready to jump onto you. I'm not saying that you should fear them. But timing is important, like you both said. But at the same time as well, man, I think even prior to that, he's going concerts, he's doing all this, whatever. He's allowed to go to the concert because obviously he wouldn't be there if he wasn't, especially with everything that's happened recently. But I just think timing, bro, like I don't want people to be onto him. And sometimes you've got to know, you know oh, what? But even you I just can't... saying that, it's like you're saying he shouldn't be at a concert though. No, nah, but yeah, because it probably Why? shouldn't. I just think timing's important. And I think... These people are onto you unnecessarily. I wasn't saying that when, when you they look, went to the fashion awards last week. When you look, no, and this we're winning. Didn't win up again. Yeah, we didn't. But then, then you shouldn't go. If you ain't, <laughs> I don't want to see you in the second leg. If this is Arsenal players, I don't want to see you in the second leg doing fashion shows and we've got a big game coming up. Especially mm-hmm. if the last one was a bit shaky. Stay at home, please. Thank you very much. I don't want to see you out. If you're going to be out, I don't want. I don't want to see it Hashtag on social Brave media. Porto. You know, like, do, do you think players think about that? Do you think players today think that you know what we just got to be at the weekend? I like no. D Block Europe are out. They're playing in one of my favorite groups that are Bro. rapping at the moment. I, I can't. I got to give this on to Miss Boys. I'm sorry. He's a genuine fan. He's a good person. He's obviously got a relationship mm. with him. Do you know what I mean? Cool. But I just think that you see when you're the best and you're you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You just know when to be out, when to not be out. Hmm. I'm not comparing him to a Cristiano or a, or, a, or a Messi, but they can do what they want, bro. Like they've done it Messi's all the way. up the, the clubs in Miami right yeah, least, recently. Like, Mbappe, bro, you can't chat to him. He's having meetings with the president, bro. Hmm. Like whether you like it or not, whether they're taking him off or whatever, he's that guy. Hmm. Jude Bellingham, do what you want to do. My brother, I just think, just be mindful. That's all I'm saying. Whether you like it or not, you're like, ah, be mindful because I don't like seeing a man 
papped out for no reason. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, he's papped. Oh, he's doing this. He's papped. Oh, Sometimes just think of the timing. Mm. Just think of the timing. And I think that's fair. Mm. Like, I think if I was doing PR that day, I would probably say you're trying to win the guys over. It's great that you're doing what you're doing. But remember who you're speaking to. People who are ready to criticize you. Just wear, bro, don't be careful. Get in your tracksuit. Mm. Yeah. Your whoever thingy tracksuit. If you're going to talk, do it that way, bro. Well, he didn't like the Louis Vuitton that he was but wearing. But I just thought you're talking to, you're talking to. <laughs> That's mad. Nah, he didn't bro. like the Louis Vuitton jacket bro. he was wearing. That's no, no, the it's jacket was sick. Yeah. Jacket, yeah. Jacket, jacket the timing was, was wrong. Yeah, Come on, man. You can't say, you can't say, it was Burberry yeah. trainers. Yeah. But you yeah, can't man. say, you can't say, right. No, you're, 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 you're not in form. This, Rio. Wait, 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 wait. But you Rio. can't say, a man's not in form. He's not scoring goals like we're expecting him to score. Yeah, the club's not doing well. So you can't go to a concert. And you can't wear a Louis Vuitton jacket. Rio, you do Rio, you let's, put it, Rio let's put it in. No, Rio. Go on. What I'm saying is you're speaking to the people. Mm. You can't be out there right about now, not playing well. We've seen you not jog back. We've seen you do X, Y, and Z. And then you're talking about commitment for the club and we ain't really seeing it. And then man's all super drippy in that. I, I just think, I just think <laughs> it's a slap on the face, bro. So what is it meant to go to? What, it's just a blank bro, canvas t-shirt. Wear and your tracksuit, bro. Like, it's just like what, that. Top chucky. Like just, that. Just, just no, no, roll no, me. No, a, no, just wherever that is. Just roll me bro, some footage of Joel I on a red care. carpet. Oh, just roll I me some. Yeah, but mo about most likely tricky. that day I'm winning. Bro. Most likely. No, you guys can say what you want. See, as a fan, then what do you think the same? It's not a hate, it's the truth. doing the interview is unnecessary. And if I was working with him, I'd have said... I get it. And I think Players' Tribune is an excellent platform yeah, so as well. Actually. Shout I think out to Players' they, Tribune. They do some real good stuff. But if I was working with him and I said, how about you just be undeniable on the pitch? The people are saying that you ain't tracking back. Is it orders? Yeah, it is orders. Okay. Well, maybe we say that or do, mm. like, can we let that be known somewhere? It's not orders. All right, you, you're just tossing it off. Right, well, well, let's cut it out. Let's be, you know, Duracell bunny. Let's track everything back. Let's mm. make sure people go. There is no question about it whatsoever. The the old adage of do you talking on the pitch mm. is the one in it because Haaland went through, Hoyland went through this um, dry spell oh. of not scoring in the Premier League and then started scoring in the Premier League. But the effort was always there with him and everyone was kind of like, well, he's not getting a lot of chances. It'll come. So he never really had anybody turn on him. Mm. And then as soon as he starts scoring, like he can go on another dry spell. Mm. I don't think people are going to say anything about him. They're mm. going to go, we know the kid's got talent. It'll come. Marcus has scored a lot of goals for Manchester United. He's a man. And he's had a lot of seasons where he's played through stuff that I think was probably ill-advised for him to play through because I think it really mm. impacted yeah. his standing and his ability at times, playing through some of the stuff that he's played through. So I would say... Make sure you're right. Don't play through stuff because it doesn't, you're not getting a benefit of doing that. And okay, I, I, I appreciate the desire, but you almost kind of have to that, let that's, people That go. was then, Steve. No, that it's now. Was, that, he was injured now, on Sunday. Oh, right, yeah, but, but what I'm saying is that if you're going to do things like that, be mindful of your interviews then. Well, that's what Timing I'm saying. Timing is key. Do your talking right? on the pitch. Just be undeniable on Timing the pitch. Timing is key. I haven't even sat here and said, you need to go score 30 goals. I'm just saying... Track back, work yeah. hard, and that is play fair. for the play for that on the front, and people actually give that a shit about fair. what's on the back. I think, that, I think, that. I think, you know what? I hundred percent agree with you. And the frustration comes from the fact that I'm an Arsenal fan, but I've seen this guy come up and do amazing things, even against my club, for goodness sake. And sometimes you just think, bro, just like get the timing right, please. Like a lot of people look up to you. It's not to say that you don't like football and you're not trying to do well, but there's a frustration when I just think. Stop going out or just just chill, man. Do you know what I mean? Just just for a bit, bro. Like, just bro. just chill. No, the man's got to go out, man. You know, no, sometimes no, I, I agree. With timing's Rio, important. Timing, Rio. yeah, but timing because I know for a fact, yeah, it might just if you if you were having the spells that he's having. I know it's not the same times as Sir Alex Ferguson. Times have changed, mm. but Sir Alex might tell you, bro. I, I think, don't I think, want to see you outside. I, I, I think you've hit the nail on the head there. I think that sometimes your environment dictates what you do some of the times. So the environment that I was in, mm -hmm. if we was losing a couple of games or out of form or whatever, there's certain situations that I would step back from or I'd say, no, I passed that. Not That's not for me. Because of the environment dictating to me that someone will call you out. He's an A-lister. Yeah, so so that, and it's not always just a manager, the changing room. 
There's someone in the change room. There's people in the change room. Who can chat to change him? More. No, no, but I'm saying there's change room more. That's the, the problem of the environment. That's what I'm saying. If your environment is a strong culture in that environment, that will dictate to you a lot of this decision making outside of the pitch. Mm. So do you go here? Do you go there? Do you speak there? Do you speak there? I don't think there's that culture or the environment yet at Manchester United that will dictate to any of the players in there what you should and shouldn't do. That's did the that, problem. It, it, did that change when we lost Roy Keane from the changing room? No. Or did people pick up the slack? No, it gets picked up by, by... It might have been Roy Keane more than anyone before and then all of a sudden a group of people. And it's not to say that people should be angels, by the way. I'm no. not saying, oh, you should be a prisoner. I'm just talking about timing. Yeah, yeah no, no, That's I agree. That's all I'm saying. But there's here. certain things. It's not just about Marcus or his team sometimes. Sometimes it's like, it should be sometimes in the best dressing rooms, it's taken out of an individual and his team's hands. The culture in the dressing room will decide because they will make you think twice before you do stuff. And that's the, the, the best dressing rooms. I'm sure, listen, you think there's players that Jack Grealish is going to do what he's doing in the summer during the season. Can't. You don't see it. Mm. Why? Because yeah. the hierarchy, mm -hmm. Pep, then you're going to see there's players that change them that won't accept that. Mm. Same at Liverpool. You very, we don't see players in their team stepping out of line and doing things on a mad time or, or speaking about things when they shouldn't maybe or when it's debatable if they should do because Klopp ain't got to say it. The culture dictates. Yeah, Virgil had to come back and amend that interview real quick yeah. when they talk about it. Yeah, but that's real the, quick. That's the culture. Real you know quick. Sir Alex making Lee Sharp split with his messes and get rid of his Yeah, dog. yeah. That's mad. I remember he that's made... A bit, he, that's a bit... Whoa, I'm I not remember a young that. player, Sir Alex, made him sell his car. He came in, I think, Kieran Richardson had a car. I remember he told us, I think, on the, on the pod one time. Yeah. You know, he had like a Porsche. And my, I, I, my brother said to me, oh, he signed for Sunderland. My brother went to me, Ree, um, Kieran, he's got a nice Porsche, hasn't he? I said, i never seen, yeah, he got a Porsche. He must have just bought it. <laughs> he said, no, he's had it. I said, right. I said to Kieran, I said, what happened with his Porsche? You got a Porsche, yeah? He's how you moving now? He left my United. He said, no, I've had it about three or four years. But I never drive it in because I know the manager will kill me. Wow. Or the players will say something. The players will bit, that dig me out. You lot will dig me out. And, and you like, know what's well, crazy? Did when you know Kieran. Like Memphis Depay. And you know, you know, you know when oh, yeah, Kieran. That's what he said. He was continue like, driving it. Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> See with Kieran, he's he's very confident in himself. He's yeah. never lacked it. So for a man like that to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be easy. Mm. That's how you know it was a different place. That's a very, very good way to end part one. Part two, we're going to be talking Paul Pogba. It's sad, man. You know, for me, you know what? Let's just leave it for the second part, Rio, because I want people to log on and watch. And if you're listening to it on audio, well done. But Paul Pogba, he's going to be the topic of discussion. Make sure you stay tuned. And we will be back soon. Peace.